Okay, so now I'm going to go again through Bitsy Savior, but just show you why it's so useful for using it in combination with Borksy, uh, the and and the game hacks. So uh, Chrome crashed on me, so that gives me an opportunity to go through this process again. I don't actually need to download the HTML file from Bitsy because uh, Borksy just uses the game data. So let me just open game data here. I will highlight it all and copy it. I'll go over to Borksy, choose uh, the game data section here, highlight everything and paste. And then down below, just choose which hack I'm interested in. That's transparent not transparent dialogue, transparent sprites. Where is that? Uh, transparent sprites. Okay, so that's already checked off. Uh, I'm a little worried that it's already checked off, so let me restore default so that everything is blank here and do that again. So there's the game data. We'll highlight everything and paste, and then come down here to transparent sprites, check that off, and hit download file. So I'm going to call this um, borkseed.html and um, I should be able to just open this and see that it's got my transparent sprite hack so that's good now let me just open this in Bitsy Savior so I'll, I'll choose Bitsy 7.2 and I will uh, upload game choose that borkseed one and oh, you know sometimes it, it looks like it doesn't it didn't accept it so one thing i've noticed is if you go to view and force reload uh and then try that again it seems to be happier let's try that okay there's the game so it's maybe a tip um this is the version that has the borksy hacks in it and you know that if i were to add some things here that um it would and if I saved it, it would uh, lose all of that Borksy stuff. So the key here, though, is in uh, in Bitsy Savior, if I just do Command S to save uh, and then choose where I want to save it, I'm going to save it right on top of the one that was there and hit patch. What, um, what should happen is I will see that this version has my updates and it still has the hack. So uh, again, I can go back and make any other changes I want uh, in here. And then when I just do Command S, it's saving. Didn't ask me for a file name this time. It's saving right to that borksy.html. And I'll see that my changes are in there and I still have the transparent sprites hack. So you might get in the habit of just using Bitsy Savior if you are in the habit of using a lot of hacks or if you're using Borksy a lot for uh, the games you do. Maybe this is a better solution than using the Bitsy website, but um, that's up to you. I've shown you now why it's useful in terms of choosing different Bitsy editors and how it can help uh, maintain the hacks that you've added either manually or through Borksy. That's it.